your iPhone keeps starting like this. If so, here are 4 different ways to fix it with and without erasing your iPhone's data. So let's get started. Our first method is ejecting your iPhone SIM card. If there is a problem with phone's connection to the wireless network, it may get stuck in the restart loop. One of the easiest ways to fix this problem is eject your SIM card and see if the problem is fixed or not. If your problem is fixed, that's good. If it doesn't, then don't worry. Just keep watching the video. Our second method is using a software to fix an iPhone that keeps restarting. In this video, I am going to use the software. It's called Tenushare Re-iBoot. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. This software is also available for Mac users. So just go ahead, download and install the software. After the installation, open it up. Once open, click on Start button. This software gives you two options to fix your iPhone's problem. The first option is Standard Repair. If you fix your iPhone's problem using this option, then it will not erase your iPhone's data. And if you select the second option, this software will erase everything from your iPhone, but it will fix your problem. So in my case, I am going to go with the first option because I do not want to lose my iPhone data. After that, click on this blue button. The next step is getting your iPhone to recovery mode or DFU mode. This software gives instructions for all the iPhone models. So you need to follow the instructions accordingly. Alright, now I am going to put my iPhone into recovery mode using the instructions provided by the software. So in my case, I have to press home button and power button. Okay, after that, you need to download latest version of iOS for your device. So as you can see, this software is suggesting me to download iOS version 12.5. In your case, it will be different. So just click on download and wait for this download to complete. Once the download is completed, click on this blue button and the software will start fixing your iPhone's problem. This process takes barely 10 minutes, so you have to be patient. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? You are well liked and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. Once the repair process is completed, on your computer you will see this message and your iPhone will restart. Once your iPhone is restarted, as you can see, it should be fixed. Mine is currently fixed, so unlock your iPhone with your passcode. And now let's see do I have my apps, yes I do and also let's check my photos, yes all my photos are there, they are all safe and sound. Alright, before I show you the third method, there is something that you should know about the software that I used in this method. The software I used in the second method is not free, you have to purchase but the question is, will you purchase the software considering the fact that this software fixes your iPhone without erasing your data? Let me know your answers in the comment section below, I would love to hear your thoughts. Now let me show you the third method. Our third method is restoring your iPhone with iTunes. Remember, if you restore your iPhone with iTunes, iTunes will erase everything from your device. If you don't want to lose your iPhone's data, then try second method. If you don't mind losing your data, then continue watching. In order to reset your iPhone, first of all, Connect it to your computer. Next, put your iPhone into recovery mode. Next, on your computer, open iTunes. As you open iTunes, iTunes will recognize your iPhone in recovery mode. Next, click on restore. Select restore and update. And wait for the iTunes to download the firmware for your device. Once the firmware is downloaded, click on restore. And the restoring process will begin. During this process, do not disconnect your iPhone, just let the iTunes do its job. Once the restoring is done, now your iPhone should be fixed just like this. Now all you have to do is set up your iPhone as if it's brand new. Our fourth and last method is 
contacting Apple. If all the methods shown in the video didn't work for you, then your iPhone might have a hardware issue and you have two options to fix it. First, taking your iPhone to a repairing shop. Second, contacting Apple. I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your iPhone to a repairing shop because most repairing shops do is they replace original parts of your iPhone with the fake ones and I'm telling this with my experience. That's why I recommend you to contact Apple before repairing your iPhone. And there is an easy way to contact Apple. Just go to Google and search Apple Live Chat and you can live chat with Apple support and get your problem solved instantly. So there you have it guys. That is how you can fix iPhone keeps restarting problem using these four methods. Please let me know which one of these options you are going to try. Let me know your answers in the comment section below. And if this video was helpful to you by any means then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are one like and share means a lot to me. So thank you so much if you do. And also if you want more videos like this in the future then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Peace.